Oh. Oh, the possibilities. Age range, four to seven. Author, Kelly Franco. Illustrator, Alexandria Gold. This is Margot. This is Margot's dog, Phineas, who she calls Finn. This is Margot's family, who she loves very much. These are Margot's school friends. This is Margot's next door neighbor, Stanley. Margot, Margot loves her life. Margot also loves Christmas. She gets to eat yummy food and receive lots and lots of presents. Every December, Margot and her family drive out to choose the perfect Christmas tree. Margot would tell Finn, you're my best friend. It was finally Christmas morning. Margot's dad handed her the last package under the tree. Cool, a new skateboard. This is the one I wanted, she said. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You're the best. Margot's parents smiled. Margot, there's one last present. Margot's face lit up, yes. You're going to be an older sister, her parents said together. An older sister? You mean there's going to be a baby coming? Yes, honey, that's what we mean. Isn't that great, her dad asked. Um, yeah, sure, she said. The next day, Margot took Finn for a walk. A baby, she wondered, someone new I have to share my toys with, someone I have to share mom and dad with, or maybe even share my room with. Why do mom and dad think this is so great? Just then, Finn took off running. Finn, where are you going? She yelled. Phineas raced toward the park where Margot could see that the trouble was a mean fifth grader from school, Ian McGunty. I said I was here first, he yelled as he stood over Margot's classmate, Millie. Give me that paper cup you're using. I want to make a plane out of it, he said. No, my mommy gave me this to make a sand castle, Millie said. Ian ripped the cup out of her hand. That's when Millie's sixth grade sister, Quinn, came running over. Ian, leave her alone, Quinn exclaimed. What are you going to do about it? He shot back. Quinn said, how would you feel if a seventh grader started bothering you, taking your things, and making you feel bad. Would you like that, Ian? Huh? Would you? Ian stayed silent. I didn't think so, Quinn said.
Please give my sister her cup back, ordered Quinn. Sorry, Millie, he mumbled. Ian. Thank you, Ian. That was very kind, Quinn stated. Ian dashed away as Quinn asked Millie, you okay, sis? Yeah, I'm fine, Millie said. Thanks for saving me from Ian. I'm not going to let anyone pick on my sister. Well, except for maybe me, Quinn said. Margot thought to herself, that was awesome. What a cool feeling it must be to protect someone you really love. Margot looked at Finn and said, if you hadn't dragged me over here, I wouldn't have seen all this happen. I wouldn't have realized I get to have another best friend soon too. I sure hope it's a girl. Stanley came jogging up. Hey, cool skateboard, Margo. Want to ride? Hey, Stanley, Margo said. Yep, let's go. Margo, when Margo and Finn returned home, Margo's parents were putting together a crib for the baby. Margo asked if she and Finn could help. You could help mommy tie the ribbon if you like, Margo's dad said. Absolutely, she exclaimed. This is Margo. This is Margo's dog, Phineas. These are Margo's school friends. This is Margo's next door neighbor, Stanley. These are Margo's parents. This is Margo's new baby sister, Sydney, who she loves very much. Margot loves her life. You can read more about these authors and the illustrator here if you want.